Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. Quick and dirty video to get creative with your bass track. Whether you have to augment the sound of it, you want to make it fuller, you want to add some weird effect, anything creative that you want to do with your bass sound. Now we are talking about a real electric bass. So let's say you have a recorded bass like I have in this case. Okay. Regular bass. And let's say you want to add a sound to it, whether it's going to be another bass sound to make it, I don't know, fuller, or you want to add some strange sound that goes along with it. So it's kind of a pain in the ass to play on a keyboard uh, the bass part, assuming that you know the bass part, otherwise you have to learn it. But there's a trick that you can do that not many people know, and that is to use Melodyne to extract pretty much the MIDI score of the played part. So we open up Melodyne on our bass track, we click transfer, hit play, and our Melodyne is going to learn the bass part for us. As you can see, is reading it. Okay. And of course, you need to do this for the whole part. Once you have the result on your Melodyne, you click setting and save as MIDI. I've already did this. You click uh, and name the file MIDI base. I did it before, so I'm not, I don't need to do it right now. Import your MIDI track into your project, and you have a MIDI file that plays the exact same part as your recorded base. Okay? From here, you open up a virtual instrument of your choice. I picked this one comes with Pro Tools, you send the MIDI track to it, and you can add any sound to your bass. Pretty cool, isn't it? And from here, you can add anything you want. And you can change octave if you want. So the point here is you don't need to learn the bass part and play it on a keyboard and, and then and then add whatever sound you want. Melodyne is gonna do it for you. And it's very, very fun. you can add any kind of sound and it's just gonna play in sync with your bass and you can go weird and pick you know strange sounds or whatever you just change virtual instruments send the MIDI track to it Okay, and your creativity is your only limit at this point. Whatever sound you can think of. Okay, so this is pretty much the video. Like I said, quick and dirty trick. Um, you just open up Melodyne, have it learn the part for you, export it as MIDI file, save it, name it import it in your project, open up your virtual instrument, send the MIDI track to it, and have fun. And I shouldn't say this because you don't give the good stuff away for free, but, but you can try this on vocals too. And it's gonna give you some very, very cool uh, effect and sounds. Thank me later. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.